Hey YouTube, this is John coming at you. Hey, I went out and did some uh, photography yesterday. Just thought I'd uh, come online, share my results with you. As you can see here, I have Stellarium open. Uh, this was yesterday's date. Uh, the little uh, X uh, marks a spot here is where Elenin is supposed to be, and it should be the same place uh, uh, today. So I'll be out again this afternoon. Uh, taking some more pictures anyway so what, what's nice about this uh, position here is it's getting farther away from the Sun so it's uh, beginning to become a little more uh, photographical so it's not being uh, blinded out by the sunlight it is being hampered by the chemtrails I will say a lot of chemtrails in the western sky I don't know uh, if they're trying to mask this thing or whatever they're doing but uh, I don't like it anyway uh, here's the first shot I took. Uh, this is with a 500 millimeter lens on a uh, Nikon D200 body, uh, so that's at 500 millimeters. So it's uh, it's pretty tough to see, especially with the chemtrails out there. Blends nicely in, but uh, if we begin to zoom in, these are that's a bird there. Uh, we could see this image looks very similar, identical to ones uh, taken in New Zealand, uh, ones taken in South America, and uh, other ones taken, taken by a YouTuber on the uh, West Coast. Uh, you can see at this point, let me, let me also add, uh, you know, before I start here, that's uh, chemtrail. You know, chemtrails don't do uh, kamikaze dives uh, towards the earth, okay? That's exactly what this, this thing is diving down towards the earth. I mean, I'd hate to be in that jet if that was a jet, but it's not a jet. So uh, don't tell me it's a jet. I know what a jet looks like. In fact, I'll show you one at the end of these clips. Uh, the jet is easily made out. That there is not a jet. That is most likely Comet Elenin because it is in the exact place where Stellarium says common elements should be appearing so there she blows guys uh, zoom in a little bit more you can see the uh, distinctive tails uh, no jet there and this is still zooming uh, no jet no jet no jet no jet okay so there's no jet okay so it's not a contrail it's not a chemtrail it's something else, and that something else is Comet Elenin. Okay, on to the next picture. Same thing. I uh, got a bird over here. Uh, you know, the opportunity to photograph this was very short. It was a matter of minutes, and it just uh, just kind of faded away into uh, into the skyline. It didn't move much at all. Uh, I kept it uh, centered in the viewing plane and. Uh, it pretty much uh, stayed in position. What I noticed is, is it just it, it, it got smaller, uh, and it, it just kind of faded out. So that's it. I mean, that's definitely Elenin. There's uh, no doubt about it in my mind. Only because uh, I matched uh, I matched my uh, camera position with that of Stellarium, and uh, it, you know it showed up there. So. And again, you don't, you don't see any plane there. Maybe a little circular something or other there. You know, if this is the Hopi Blue Star Kachina, it wouldn't show up as a blue star with uh, what, what our chemtrail buddies are doing out there, the way light refracts and gets filtered through all those chemtrails. Uh, what are those chemtrails about, anyway? You know, I'd really like somebody to do a special on that. I mean, what what a massive operation that whole chemtrail uh, undertaking is because it's worldwide. Can you imagine the amount of dollars they've spent on that thing? And I bet you, without the chemtrails, uh, you know, this thing would be probably easily viewable with the naked eye. There we go again. No plane, no lights, no tails, no wings. And there is a little spherical in there. Uh, and so you know, this is pretty, it's actually a pretty big object if you think about it. I mean, uh, you know, 500 millimeter uh, with a good uh, video zoom, you could pretty much pull this thing into, uh, into a nice uh, view. So it's, uh, 
you know, common elements uh, pretty big. Here you can see as time is passing by, it's just turning into a little smudge. That's it. You know, it's just really fading away. Uh, like I said, I probably had about 10, uh, not even 10 minutes to, to photograph this thing. It, it is probably between five and eight minutes, and then and then it just uh, it just kind of faded away. It just turned into that, which uh, that's the view through a 500 millimeter lens. So you would need some uh, nice binoculars or a really good zoom lens on your uh, video cam to get this guy. I may go out today. I got a 60x uh, zoom lens on my Canon, and uh, maybe I'll videotape it today. Uh, looks like a good day here in Illinois for some photography. If my chemtrail buddies uh, stay grounded, you know, maybe they uh, had to fuel up today. It'll be nice and blue sky out there for me. Hope so. All right, so here's it. Here's what a jet looks like. This is same day in the direction of the moon. This is a this is a chemtrail. I wouldn't call it a contrail. Chemtrail because it uh, you can see it fanning out, spanning out. But what do we see at the end of it? Let me zoom in for you. See that jet? See that jet? That's a jet. Okay? That's not on the end of the common Ellen pictures, is it? No, it's not. See, so the jet is plainly viewable in a chemtrail or contrail, whatever you want to call it. But a jet is not viewable on common Ellen. See? No jet. And again, jets don't do kamikaze dives into the earth. Okay, World War II is over. So, you know, that's that's not a jet. Uh, you know, go out, get stellarium, it's free. Go look at the position of the sky and uh, bring your binoculars and then you could see for thou self. Okay, because it, it's there, uh, you know, viewing, uh, you know, hopefully you get home in time for work to see it in the western sun uh the western skies i haven't tried it yet in the eastern skies i haven't been up that early i believe it rises before the sun in the eastern sky uh i was out once last week but we had uh we were just at the tail end of the low pressure from hell here in the midwest that uh spun over our heads for uh nearly two weeks so i didn't have uh, much opportunity to uh, photograph anything then so anyway i'll be out again today to share comment elenin with you uh tomorrow hopefully i'll get some uh, some good footage until then over and out talk to you later